next, I got to say hello to all my store teams. Hello, all my great store teams out there. You do a fabulous job every single day, and you make Chico's, and you make me so very proud. So are you dying to know what we're going to talk about today? Okay, we're going to talk about classic combos. So we're going to talk about those outfits that every woman should have in their closet. So these are your closet staples. These are the outfits, like for example, mine would be white shirt, tied up, fedora, because I don't want to deal with the hair. And for any of you that think I don't have hair, I really do. But it's just easier to throw a hat on for me in Florida and all the humidity. And this time of year, it's raining. And that's my classic combo. It's the fedora, the white shirt tied up, and a pair of jeans. And that's my classic combo. And depending upon where I'm going, I change the shoe, I change the jewelry, I have a you know stack attack, I have a neck mask, and I change that all up. But my staples remain the same. It's my go-to outfit, and it's been my go-to outfit forever. So what is your go-to outfit? That's what I want to know, and let's think about that. You all need to think about that and make sure that you have it in your closet. So I came up with five classic combos for today, along with a great uh, stack attack and a great neck mess. And this is like a starter kit for everybody to begin their classic combos and make sure that you have them in your closet. So again, it's like that best friend. She's always there. She feels good. She knows you. You feel good beside her. And those are what classic combos are all about. They're just in clothes, okay? So you're gonna find your BFFs in your closet. So you're ready to go? Okay, and by the way, I love all your questions. I love all your feedback. I go, I told you, I go home every night, like tonight, I'll go home and I'll listen to them twice. I'll read every single line and I just appreciate you. So please ask questions, get involved. I love us all to feel like we're all in this together. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We're going to start off with our first classic combo. Um, okay. I had a convert last week. I don't, I'm sorry. I forgot your name. Was it Leanne? I forget. Linda, Linda, Linda transitioned to the leggings. She said, I'm going to wear white leggings, Cher. And, you know, I, I, had, I was going to wear light leggings today, too, and we grabbed the wrong size. So I apologize. I put on my skinny jeans. What, what style were these? Skinny, jeans. skinny ankle jean, which I love. And I'm not a tunic girl, but I'm going to tell you ladies right now, this is the first day I've ever worn a tunic in my entire life, and I am in love with the tunic. And let me tell you why. Pop the collar, longer, leaner look. Fabulous. V-neck. Do you know that wearing a V-neck is a slim secret? Because it draws the, the eye up, and it opens up your neckline. And it's just this beautiful slim secret that nobody knows about. So pop your collar, make you look taller. V-neck is a slim secret in itself. Now, I'm going to turn around so you can see this great. Oh, I could use it on the mannequin. I could brag about this fabulous tunic. And I was in the Waterside store, and Will, the manager, says, share you got to try on this tunic. And I looked at him like he had two heads. And he goes, no, please. And I tried it on. I loved it. So this tunic would look just as great with the white leggings we talked about last week and the week before. And we had Linda as a convert. And she said, I'm joining the team. And she's going to do the white leggings. White leggings are very chic. And what makes it even more chic is this tunic covers your rear end. So look, I'm completely covered. Um, and I, that's the way to wear a white, white, white legging. You wouldn't want to wear it any other way. Now, for those of you that aren't ready to go to the white legging, I get it and I understand. I want to make sure that we are everything to every body. And we've got the black legging here. So this is also a great look. Collar popped. Um, how comfortable leggings, I'm sure you all know. If it's casual, go ahead and just roll up her little sleeve with a sloppy cuff like I have on here today. And this look is great for a neck mess. This is, look is great. And right now, I'm just going to keep it simple for you. Uh, she unbuttons. Uh, let me turn her around. Look at the detail. It's buttoned all the way down the back, which I absolutely love. And I love most when a woman looks as great leaving the room as she does entering it. And this is going to satisfy that for you because everybody's been going, did you see how cool she looked? Do you see how fabulous and effortless she was? And did you see the detail on the back of the shirt? Like, that's what's so special about Chico's. I don't see details on the back of shirts. And we've got a couple of them here today that I'm going to show you. So I just think this is an absolutely amazing outfit. And um, it's probably going to be first on my list that I would go to, to for a fun, casual lunch. Um, you could put a heel on it, like I have on, like a wedge, not a high heel, but you can get away with a wedge heel 
or a little kitten heel or a little flat ballerina slipper, anything like that to dress it up. Or you can go with a sneaker and tennis shoes. So it's kind of like that go to wear it anywhere, anytime. Now, I'm gonna throw a couple more classic combos in and I'll use this throughout the entire show today. Look what happens when we put a little hat on her in a bag. Just completely finishes her look, doesn't it? And this hat and this bag is a great combo and you can have it in your closet anytime, anywhere, and it's gonna look great with all the outfits that I chose for today, you'll see. So this is a must have, a handbag and a hat that look great together and can go with any of your classic combos. Okay, next, we're gonna go with a little neck mess that would look absolutely great on this outfit. So here's our neck mess starter kit. This is one necklace. So if you're new at the neck mess game, and you're not ready to rock and roll and, and be like Cher and put tons of units on at one time, this is a great way to start because it's one necklace and it's got three different strands. And I love there's a high, there's a medium, and there's a low. So let's put that on and start off with our own neck mess. So that's easy. It's, it's one necklace. You already have a self-made neck mess. Then add another strand. And I love how these are all kind of, they all have kind of the matching shape which apps is, just makes it look more spectacular. Then I'm gonna put another longer chain on. Again, getting more original at every moment. Nobody in the country is gonna have this mess on at any given time of any given day. Then the really cool thing, ladies, let's say you want a pop of color, or let's say you had a t uh, turquoise shirt on. Um, in These no iron shirts come in so many colors and they come in linen and they come in, you know, they, they're just amazing. Then let's just put a little pop of color. So look, we have a pop of turquoise right on there. Now they run at the same time, so I'm gonna take this one off. They're at the same length. I would put that on and put the focus all on that. Isn't that great? Now again, you could take this neck mess right off and you could put it right on this outfit and voila. I mean, look at her. Now she's ready. She's ready to go anywhere. She's got her own neck mess. Everybody's going to be going, did you see the beautiful jewelry she had on? She must be shopping at Chico's. So love? Okay, great. Again, great idea, great outfit, leggings. And I'm telling you, I cannot believe how comfortable this tunic feels. It's just absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're going to go on to our next outfit. I'll leave our little neck mess over there in case anybody wants to study that. And by the way, ladies, you can go down to the bottom of your screen and you can shop and it tells you exactly what every single one of these items are that we're talking about. Yeah, we have a couple of um, oh, comments. Oh, we have some comments. Okay, thank you, ladies. Um, they want to know if the, the tunic that you're wearing and that you just showed was no iron. Um, she, you're, some women wanted to know if the tunic that I'm wearing is no iron. Yes, I had it in the back seat of my car and ran in here today. And it's raining and nasty and crappy out. And this is what it looked like from the back seat of my car. So I can vouch for absolutely no iron. Yes. Okay? Um, then we have a couple of people. So Kay said that you have converted her to hat. Okay. And she went to her local Chico store and they ordered her one yesterday. Okay, Kay is now a hat girl, Kay. Take one for the team, girl. That's I'm so proud of you. You will be so happy because you don't have to worry about your hair anymore. And I get more compliments on a hat than probably anything that I wear. It's just kind of crazy. But it, again, it's my signature style. So Kay, it's going to become yours. You watch. You watch and see how many of your friends go. Well, Kay, what's going on with you? And you can say, well, I'm hanging out with Cher Canada because she's a Chico's and this is what she told me to do. So we got a convert, Kay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm glad you got, they found you a hat at Chico's. Okay? Um, you did get just a few things from multiple people on here saying a neck mess starter kit is brilliant. Oh, a neck mess starter kit is brilliant. Thank you. Um, you know, I believe in starter kits. When I first came to Chico's, um, the Traveler's Collection, I remember the day, and by the way, Marvin and Elaine called me the other day and I missed their call. I think they're calling me because they know I'm back on and they wanted to talk about these uh, lives. Uh, and I'll tell them hello from all of you. They are founders, for any of you that do not know that. 
Uh, they always call, it was my birthday last weekend, and they always call my birthday every single year. They never miss, so what a great gift, right? So back in, the, in 1996, I was shopping with Marvin Elaine down on, uh, my, in Miami and uh, on Lincoln Road, and we were shopping in the store, and we found this dress, and it was in this fabric, and uh, Marvin decided to call it the Traveler's Collection, and uh, it's kind of what made Chico's famous. And I created the starter kit. So it's kind of like this. You're gonna have a starter kit to your closet essentials. And you're gonna have those go-to items. And we're gonna go to Travelers right now. That's our next, so it's perfect timing. Anything else, we good? Okay, again, ladies, thank you for all your questions, your comments, and your converts. I gotta start counting my converts. That's so exciting to me. Okay, classic Travelers kit, Chico's. So I started with white because it's summertime. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's got a little sheen to it. Um, it's a straight leg. We all know that column dressing is a slim secret. And look at, look at the two of us together. Like this is my BFF. We look great together. Don't we look summer and fresh? And look at how little we had to think about these outfits. And look how great we feel. Um, I threw a little denim jacket on over the shoulders, especially for women that don't want to have their arms showing. I get it and arms were the number one and two biggest uh, areas of the body that women are concerned about when I was styling them. And I get it. So all you have to do is throw this little girl over your shoulders and I think she's just great for those of you. And again, what restaurant isn't freezing? Uh, and now we're going back to movie theaters and now we're traveling again. Um, I was on an airplane all weekend back to Nebraska. I got to go see one of my Chico stores in Nebraska. Hi, Nebraska, Omaha. And um, I was freezing the entire time. And thank goodness I had my little Chico's denim jacket along with me. So again, this is Traveler's Collection. Uh, we did a little front tuck. You don't have to do that if you're not comfortable with it. However, a front tuck does elongate the body. And it, it's fine if you have a tummy because you're just doing a little front tuck and then it's coming down to the sides. It covers the rear. Uh, and it's just a little uh, slim secret that I think is magical and spectacular. Now, this is the greatest uh, accessories that we're carrying right now. It's all white, it's horn, it's, it's leopard. Um, you all know leopard is my favorite color. So I just think this is a great outfit and a great, great combo for you to have in your closet. Always do a sloppy cuff and always pop the collar. Now, if you don't want to wear white, I get it. You don't want to wear white. And again, this time I am trying so hard to make everybody watching happy. I am trying to cover every single base. If you don't want to wear white, wear black. It's fine. We still we have the same sleeveless top. We have the same traveler's bottom. This is the no tummy pant. Makes your tummy disappear. Again, we, we started this in 1996, and today it is still one of the best-selling pants at Chico's. Some things you just are too good to be true, and it's this pant and this combination. This combo will go with any novelty jacket you have. This combo will go with any knit top. Um, and again, if you don't want to wear white, you could just take this outfit on and replace it with the black and have absolutely spectacular. I think you should have both. I think you should have the black on black, and I think you should have the white on white especially for summertime. Okay, so um, let's put her over here, move her away. Okay, here comes one of my favorites. Okay, does it get any better than this? Leopard is my favorite color, and there are so many slim secrets happening here, I can't even stand it. So this top in itself is a slim secret. Um, it covers the arms and it's nice and sheer. Look at the little dolman sleeve. There's so much great about this top. A little side tie. This is gonna cover anybody that is concerned at all about a tummy. You just, it laps it over, it's, it ties to the side, wherever it's comfortable for you. And I think it is so very chic and so fabulous for summertime. Again, grab our little bag, grab our hat. Look at what this combo does, just makes it a complete outfit. Um, we can call these outfit completers, uh, but I think this is spectacular. This denim jean has a little bit of a fuller leg. So if you're concerned about your hips, the best thing to do is find a boot leg jean, one that falls straight down, not, not the one I have on, the one that falls straight down, because that is going to balance your hips. 
And again, we know we have the shoulder pads coming. Uh, that was a big, big, big thing that we unleashed last week. The shoulder pads are coming. And um, that would look great here, again, to balance out the hips. So that's also another slim secret, and they're going to be coming to your stores very soon. So I'm very excited about that. Um, anything yet, Chris? We okay, have we have a question. Yeah, so the viewers want to know, Diane in particular, what earrings do you wear with a neck mesh, and what earrings can you wear without a neck mesh? Okay, the, Diane wants to know, thank you, Diane, what earrings do you wear with a neck mesh? And what earrings do you wear without a neck mess? Um, I would be adorned in huge hoops right now if I didn't make so much noise on my mic and get into trouble by my boy over there. So I have to just wear little studs uh, for the TV broadcast. However, if I were out today, I would have a nice big hoop on uh, to wear with my silver neck mess if I was adorning myself in that silver neck mess. Um, any type of silver, small, I love a big hoop because my hair is longer. If your hair is shorter, the shorter your hair is, the smaller your hoop should be. Um, and Chico's, again, has great accessories to match everything. So you'll find all kinds of wonderful earrings and everything to match your neck mess. Um, with this, you could even go with the jewelry that we had on here because they've got hoops. They've got hoops to match. So you could take this particular neck mess. And it's like animal dressing here at Chico's. Look how great that is. That looks spectacular. So I love that everything at Chico's has multiple uses and multiple purpose. And if you didn't want to go that much, just take one. And then you could always go back and add, you could add um, longer if you wanted to create your own neck mess here. You could go back and do the same way we have in the silver chains. You could add gold chains. Add a short one, add a long one, add a medium one. Again, create your own mess. But you, you ladies have to love this top. I just think this has so much, um, just, just it's a great sense of style. And it's, it's comfortable. It's mesh. And it's absolutely beautiful, going to cover the arms, and again, a great for that tummy area that everybody is uh, very concerned about. Okay, do we love her? Everybody's going to run out. This top is going to sell out fast, I'm just warning you, because she's so spectacular. Okay, we're going to put her away. I'm going to take a break in the action here, and let's talk about a stack attack. Okay, can we get a close in, in on my personal stack attack? This is my personal stack attack starter kit. So I always start out with my watch because I love my watch and I'm still a girl that wears a watch and I'm sure a lot of you do too because I like to be on time. So here's my watch. Um, I have my little diamond bracelet. I don't ever take it off. So that's part of my stack attack every time, everywhere. Now I start adding my Cheat Coast jewelry. So today I added a couple little silvers, beautiful, some, a couple with rhinestones, another silver. Um, I think this is really great. If you want to be a little bit more, I love this heavy, thicker. Look at that stack attack. I mean, we've got it. I mean, you can just do whatever you want to do. I like to keep them all on one arm. That's just me. That's my personal preference. You could do um, a couple on each arm. Uh, but again, I like to create just one arm, one attack, and I like to I like to combo it with my watch. Now, the only other thing you could do if you don't feel comfortable having this all on one arm is keep your watch on one a wrist and put your stack attack on the other wrist. And that looks just as fabulous also, so it's all up to you. Now, what I wanted to do too is show you, Chico's has all kinds of different silvers that you can add to your stack attack. We did the same thing and added a pop of color like we did with our neck mess. So let's say you're wearing, you just want a pop of color with your all white outfit. It would look great with the outfit I have on. So we're just gonna add a pop of turquoise to my neck mess, or my stack attack, I'm getting confused. And look how great that looks. It's all white and we just added turquoise to that. And it's the same idea and the same philosophy we did with the neck mess. We just added a pop of color. So any color that you have, start with your starter kit, in either silver or gold, and then you can always go back and add color. Sound good? Okay. Any questions yet, Kristen? We do. Okay, great. Nancy. Nancy. Nancy wants to know your thoughts on mixing metals. Can she wear silver, gold, and rose gold together? Nancy, I love mixed metals. Um, 
I have a watch that is silver and gold. And Nancy, thanks, that's a great question. I have a watch that has both silver and gold. So what that does is it kind of gives me an introduction and a free pass to mix my metals. Um, I have a pair of earrings that's silver and gold. And again, it's kind of that free pass. It gives me an introduction to mix my metals. There is all those people that say you can't wear white after this time and you can only do this, and you can only do that. First of all, who are they and who made up that crap? I don't believe in any of that. I believe in doing what you love and absolutely mixing metals. What I probably wouldn't do is if you were gonna start adding color in, I would probably stick with two things. I would either have all silver and a color or all gold and a color. Or you could go gold and silver. So you could take your starter kit in gold and silver and you can mix up your metals and it'll look absolutely spectacular. And again, it'll be only yours and it'll be only what you do. And that's what makes it so special. So great question. I uh, hope that answered it and hope everybody understands. Debbie wants to know, is it proper to keep your hat on if you're going out to dinner? Debbie wants to know if it's proper to keep your hat on if you're going out to dinner. Absolutely. Um, I, the only environment that I, I even, I wear my hat to church. Now I don't allow my significant other to wear a baseball cap to church because I think that is just bad. But I think for women, um, a fedora, something like this. Now baseball caps, I don't think so. That's just me personally. So I'm just giving you my personal, there's no written rule about this. This is just shareisms. Um, I think a woman with a hat looks so fabulous and so dressed and so completed that I think you can wear a hat in any type of environment to anywhere um, except for a baseball cap. I think that's inappropriate. I think that's great for lunch and during the day, but I do not believe it's appropriate for nighttime and for dinner. Okay? One more question. Oh, I, love, I love all these questions. Anne. Anne. Anne wants to know if she could wear traveler's pieces with no iron mixed and that's a great question. We've never had that question. Anne wants to know if you can wear traveler's pieces with the no iron. Anne, absolutely. Um, nothing would look better than taking your classic no tummy pant and putting this tunic, tunic with it. I mean, she would be spectacular. This would be just a great look. You know what, Anne? It's not going to look any different. We love this look, right? This happens to be a legging. It's a little bit more... Um, I would say dress down. You take your traveler's pant and you put it with this tunic and you can absolutely dress it up with accessories and a heel, uh, depending upon your bag. You can dress this up and you can go to dinner just about anywhere in this type of outfit. And I think it's great to mix and match your things. Remember, these are all your classic combos. These are the things you feel comfortable and look comfortable in. Now, another thing too, Anne, is you could take the open uh, button front shirt in the no iron, and you could wear that over the, the traveler's tank and pant. So you could put the white shirt over this as just like a little overpiece instead of a jacket for summertime. Which, and again, if you wanna cover your arms, that's the best way to do it. If you don't wanna wear a denim jacket, putting one of our no iron uh, shirts over the top of this is again, such a classic look. I don't think um, there's a better look for a woman of our ages than a classic white shirt. And yes, I am a victim of tying mine up, but again, I became a, a different woman today with my tunic top on. You guys changed me. Um, but um, I, that's my signature look. And I think with a collar popped, uh, every time I see a woman walk into the room looking that way with a pair of jeans on, with a black little stretch pant, the black travelers, I just look at her and go, you know what? She looks so amazing and so comfortable in, in, in her look. You know, somebody asked me yesterday, they said, Cher, is, is style born in you? And I, nobody's ever asked me that. Like, was I born with style? And I, I said, no, your style is created over years. Um, in high school, I was wearing dresses with rickrack that my mother made for me because that's what she had for us. So that's not high style. And believe me, my friends all had the cutest clothes and I was, mine were cute, but they were handmade from my mom and they had rickrack on them. And I look back at pictures and go, Ugh. Um, my style has absolutely happened as I've matured and aged and learned and experienced and tried. I know what things work for me 
and I have my classic combos in my closet and I know exactly if I need to put on something that I need to look chic in and feel comfortable in and go for the whole day, I know exactly what to go to. And I want you all to figure out what that is for you. And I'm hoping this segment will help you do that. Take a look at your closet. Get rid of the stuff you haven't worn. Take it somewhere. There are so many women's shelters, Goodwills. There's so many places that would love to have all your slightly worn clothing and there are women out there that need it so desperately. And make sure that your closet has these types of things in it because this is what you're gonna go to and this is what you're gonna wear. Okay, great, awesome question. Hope I answered it. Are we good? We've got a few more questions. Oh, we got a few more questions. Okay, good. You brought up the pop collar share. So Vicki, Vicki says it appears that you have a nice long neck. She does not. Would a popped collar or a neck mess cause her neck to look scrunched? Okay, Vicki, the question was, she said, I have a long neck. I really don't, I'm faking it. So that's good, Vicki. Um, I'm not tall, I'm five, four and three quarters. Uh, I don't have a long neck. What's making it look long is the pop collar and the open neck. Now, Vicki also said that she's short and she's worried about having a neck mess on and the pop collar and everything going on. You know what, Vicki, if that is how you feel, I wanna make sure you feel great. So I would probably lighten up on a neck mess. If you, if, if your neck and you feel that way, just pop the back of your collar, just the very back, cause it's gonna give you, it's gonna give you height. And open this up, Vicki, cause it's gonna make you look like you have a long neck. Cause I fooled you, I don't have a long neck. But because of my pop collar and because I have it open, it looks like I have one. And then just start off with a couple of the classic pieces. Like just do, um, you know what you should do, Vicki? Whoops, I'm dropping things. Uh, this is the perfect neck mess for you. It's one unit. It all comes together. It's a short, a medium, and a long. And that's all you need. It's not bulky. It's beautiful. It's sleek. It's not chunky. Um, you don't want to, anything, you don't want to chunk it up. And I understand completely. This would be the perfect neck mess for you to start off. This is your Vicky starter kit for your neck mess. Okay? Hope that helps, Vicky. Thank you. Great question. Barbara wants to know, can a woman with short hair wear a fedora? You know what? Um, who, 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 Barbara. Barbara asked, can a woman with short hair wear a fedora? Yes. I think every woman can wear a fedora. Now, I have long hair. So I can either leave it back or I can pull it forward. It depends. Uh, if your hair, Barbara, is just like short here, I would put it around my ears. If it's a little longer, I see a lot of women pull their hair and they can wear it forward. I just like wearing it back. It feels more comfortable to me because I'm all about efficiency and I don't want it to get in my way. That's one of the reasons I wear a hat because I like having longer hair, but I don't want it to get in my way. Um, the biggest thing to consider when buying a fedora is the size of this, of the brim. So um, since I am at least over 5'4", and um, I, I love hats, and I'm not afraid to wear them, and I've been wearing them for a long time, I have like a mid-size brim. I also, for the sun, when I go out in the sun, I'll wear even a bigger size and get away with it. Um, when I'm going out on the street, I don't wear a bigger brim this, than this because I think it ends up looking too big on me. So if you are shorter, um, and, you, and a lot of women have really small, tiny heads too, uh, just get a smaller brim. And they make, they make fedoras in every size brim you could possibly imagine. So, um, and hair, again, it's very chic to just put it behind the ears and let it fall where it falls. That's what wearing a hat is so good about. You just don't have to worry about your hair. Slick it back if you want to. You can put it in a side, side ponytail for you, those of you that have hair. You can let it go back. You can pull it forward. And again, if it's short, you even are better off because you don't have to worry about it. Oh, where's my collar? You don't have to worry about it at all. You can just stick it behind your ears and, and let it be. Or, you know, sometimes I slick my hair completely back and put it in a ponytail. So I, nobody knows if I have hair or not because it's all under my hat. So I'm sure that would work for you also. I just think find the one that looks great for you and looks great for your height and your, the size of your face. I hope that answered your question. A lot of hat interest today. Yes, 
Okay, keep going. Okay, my next outfit. Okay, this one is awesome. And I, ha I hated to even bring this out because it's not in yet. And you're going to go, I know you hate that. I know you're like, share when things sell out. Well, this is going to sell out, but it's not even in yet. And what it is, is it's the same style shirt that I have on, the tunic. And it's we have it rolled up with a little, little jean, girlfriend jean. Rolled her up with a sloppy cuff. You can wear sneakers or a sandal or a heel with this. Look at her in the back. Same button detail. Collar popped. I mean, this is just a great summer shirt. It's just fabulous. Now, all these things I'm showing you, too, could all be mixed in with, let's say, we do a denim skirt instead. So we could do that. We could do a tunic with a denim skirt. You could do a little front tuck. You could belt it. Or you could let it out and just be a tunic. This is a must-have for your closet. We went over this last week, the things that you have to have in your closet. The other thing I think you should have in your closet is a little short. Again, this would look absolutely spectacular, change the look completely, um, but uh, a little sandal, a little wedge heel. Again, this is one of those staples that should be in your closet for your classic combos because this would go with the tunic. This would go with just about anything we have here. And the next outfit I have is really going to show you how we could showcase a short for summertime. Uh, also, I think you should have a dressier short. So this is, um, this is a dressier short, dressier fabric. Um, these are spectacular on. Again, looks great with a tunic, would look great with the leopard, would look great with anything that you have, the little denim jacket. These are staple items you should have in your closet that you can mix and match with any one of these items. And that's what makes, I think, a starter kit so fabulous is you can mix and match the pieces. And that's how Travelers became famous, remember? So, and then always, ladies, I always say, have a scarf. Like, look what it does to my outfit. Just put it, throw a little scarf on, slim secret, make sure the bottoms, they're not equal because you never want to put a straight line. Um, and I just think a little scarf like makes everything wonderful. Um, we could have put this all on. Let's throw this over here just to show you again. I hope we didn't sell out of these last week. I hope I'm not. Um, I mean, look what it does to that traveler's outfit. Just changes it completely. And last week we even showed you how to take this scarf and make it a tunic and make it a tie for your little, uh, for your bathing suit. Remember a little wrap skirt? Um, all kinds of different things we can do with a scarf. And, and this one's got leopard in it, so I think it's wonderful. Okay, Kristen, how are we doing? Keep going. A oh. lot of people are just commenting about many of the things that you're showing. We do have um, one question out there. Um, Travelers Fashion Week is coming up. Uh, she's wondering if you not only stack your bracelets, but do you stack rings? Nancy wants to know if we stack rings. Yes, um, I stack everything because <laughs> I'm a jewelry girl and I like to be original and I don't like to look like anyone else. I like to have my own sense of style and I know what it is. I'm very secure in it and I like it to be different and unique, just kind of like my personality. So um, I stack everything. Um, I have stacked rings on right now. I never wear just one ring. And I think there's so many... Um, places out there to get stackables and just put all kinds of different rings on. And again, look at what you have in your closet. I bet you've got things and combinations that you could put together that you didn't even realize that you had. Um, what I wouldn't do is wear a neck mess, a stack attack, and stacked rings all at the same time. It's just too much. Um, it's too much. So pick out which thing you want to do. Uh, be great at it uh, and be comfortable in your own skin and what makes you feel fabulous and what makes you unique. Because all these things make you unique. And that's the most important thing to me is that you feel fabulous, but you look unique. You're your own person. And that's what I love about Chico's. Chico's women have their own sense of style. They, 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 they walk to the beat of their own drum and they feel, they just feel confident. And um, I think confidence is just a beautiful thing okay last but not least now this just looks like a no-brainer because it is this is sleeveless little top I don't know if you can tell it's got great sheen to it it's got silver sheen here this would look great with the starter kit for a stack attack because of the silver sheen I mean look how great that looks 
And it looks like it's three necklaces. It's not. Absolutely fabulous. We got the bunny tie, the bunny ears. I think everybody's seen that a hundred times by now. Um, just to make sure. She looks absolutely, let's make sure we don't have the hole there. I pulled it a little too much. Um, I love this shirt and I love these little shorts. You can unroll these and you can roll these depending upon your height, which I think is spectacular. Then, here's what I love most about Chico's. So if you wanna change your look completely, go, go with the blue. If blue's your color, um, every time I see a woman with blue eyes wear blue, I'm like, you should be wearing blue every day of your life. So same color. Um, Chico's has so many different things and, and, and print. If you want to do a print, do the same thing. Now you can let this out. This is a tunic length. You can let it out also, or you can tie it up or you can do a front tuck, but look how that changes your look. I think you should just have a couple of these go-to shirts in your closet. Look at this one. Now this one would look great tied back to the two, uh, traveler's pant, no tummy pant, and back to the legging. You could wear this with your legging, and you could wear this with white or black travelers, which would also be spectacular. Um, color, yellow is such a hot pop color uh, for this summer. So I think that is beautiful. Again, these collars stand up beautifully, all no iron. Um, I had this print in last week's segment. I love how it goes back to denim. You could wear this also with your white travelers. You could wear this with your white leggings. You could wear this with your blue denim jeans. Um, just um, everything kind of matches and works back together. You just have to be adventurous. And I said last week, we're not a tree. We can pick up and move. A tree is stuck exactly where its roots are and we're not. And every time I go out and try something and I walked in here today with this tunic on and the girls were all like, Oh my God, we've never seen you not tied up in a shirt. And I said, it's the first day ever and I'm not a tree and I'm trying it because I should practice what I preach. And I really love it. And I feel, I feel like a million bucks in it. And I know you will too. And again, look at that back treatment. So when I leave the room today, I'm going to look just as cute. Oh, I just love that. Okay. So I know, how are we doing with questions? Yeah, so a few more things. Okay. Yes, Pat wants to know again about the pop collar and elongating the neck. There's a couple little tricks to the trade. I have a lot of them. Someday, you know, and I want to hear from you ladies. What do you want to hear more about? Just uh, give us our feed, give us the feedback. Again, I will be studying every word you say tonight. Um, last week we heard my mic was too loud. Now I'm a loud person, so I apologize for that. We tried to turn it down a little bit today, but I am just a, I get very excited about this. This uh, week we started out a little Oh, we started off a little too soft this week and turned us up. So we'll get it right, but I just want you to know we're listening to you. We listen to every single thing that you say. And um, I would love to hear what do you want what do you want to learn more about? So we just got asked a great question because she hasn't been involved in some of the prior uh, live shows. What is it about the pop collar and the open and V neckline? So this is two separate things. Uh, the pop collar in the back is always going to give you, it's going to make you look taller. Uh, people think I'm 5'6". I'm lucky to be 5'4 and 3 quarters. I'm not 5'6". Uh, never have been. They just think I look taller because I always have my collar popped. It's just been a thing since I've done, since the beginning of time. And um, it's a slim secret because it gives you a, a longer, leaner look. Now the open neck, a V-neck is always going to give you this up and down. Uh, people are gonna just look up and down because it's an up and down motion, uh, just like a scarf. A scarf is going to be this parallel, just like column dressing, anything that runs parallel. So um, one of our fabulous customers said she thought I had a long neck. I don't, I'm short and I don't, I've got a normal but it looks long today and I can even see myself. I look like I have a long, I don't. It's because I have my collar popped and my V-neck open. So anytime you wanna buy a V-neck t-shirt, anytime you have a button, a shirt like this, open this up because it's gonna draw your eye just like this and it's gonna open it up and it gives this beautiful look of having a long, like those model necks. You look at them and go, really? Well, it's going to help look that way, and that's going to provide opportunities for you also to create your own neck mess and to wear something that's uniquely you and uniquely spectacular for you. Hope I answered that question correctly. So keeping up with the uh, pop collar theme, 
Yes. Luann from Texas. Yes. She said, is there a trick to popping your collar? Mine never wants to stay up. Okay, Luann from Texas. I love Texas, Luann. I lived there for many years. It's fabulous. I love Texas people. Is there a trick to making your collar popped? Okay, Luann, A, are you wearing Chico's collars? Because I have challenges with um, white shirts. Did I tell you last week how many white shirts I have? Okay, I'm going to break it to you. I have 70, this will make it 74. I had 73 yesterday, and I got this. Uh, so this makes it number 74. Yes, I'm white shirt crazy. That would call me white shirt crazy, and I love them all. And I've kept them all over the years at Chico's. I still have the ones that had Helene, where she signed uh, the label in the back, and it was had her little heart with the arrow through it. I kept all of those shirts, because they're all special to me, and they're just as great today as they were then. Um, I think the pop collars at Chico's work the absolute best. Um, I think that I told you, I shared my idea. Somebody said, well, what about makeup? Right away, after I put my makeup on, even to come to the show, I take a tissue and I go here and I go here. And it gets off any makeup that would automatically rub off of my collar. Because when I turn my um, head one way or the other, it's going to touch my collar and I don't want to see makeup on my collar. It's icky. So, um, and then also try to take, like when I got this out of the car, when we got this out of the car today, out of the back seat of the car, I try to take it and make sure the back is standing up and then I kind of go like this. And I just, it just stands up and stays. And it's, it's all the Chico's and the fabric and the no iron and the things that they do to put the stay in, in the collars to make it work that way. So I hope that answered your question. Try it. Put the back up and just kind of go like this and put a little crease in it so the back stays up. And this you can pop up, up like this, like I'm a popper. I usually have mine up. Or you can lie it down like this and just make this little cell crease, kind of iron your shirt with your hands, and then it's going to stay like that for as long as you want to wear it. Okay. Okay. Two more questions about your shirt. Okay. So many, many women on here okay. are asking, is the shirt see-through? Okay. Okay. Many women are asking, is the shirt see-through? Okay. Can you see through? No. Not see-through at all. Even our linen shirts are not see-through. So you can be pretty, um, pretty self-assured that anytime you buy Chico's, uh, we don't do sheer. That's not our look. Uh, I have a nude colored bra on. Um, I could have worn white and I, I, have, I have been wearing white the last couple segments with my white linen and I see myself on camera and I can't see that either. So um, I think, quite honestly, they're so non-see-through. You could probably wear a black bra here and you probably wouldn't even see it. So it's definitely got substance to it and it's not sheer and it's not see-through. And guys, think about it. It has to be that way to be able to hold its shape and to be no iron. It couldn't be sheer. There wouldn't be enough substance to allow the shirt to be as fabulous as it is. So don't worry about that. They all want to know what size shirt you're wearing. Are you in a zero? Okay, uh, what the, everybody wants to know what size shirt I'm wearing. Yes, I'm in a zero. They didn't have a double zero, but I don't think I would have wanted to put a double zero on. It's supposed to be a tunic, and I think it falls great. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it falls great. I think it falls great in the back. I wouldn't want it to be much longer than this, or it's going to overwhelm me. And um, also, I wouldn't want it to be much longer than this because of my height and because I want to wear it with white leggings and I want to wear it with sneakers. So again, proportions are so important. Uh, when you're working with hips and shoulders, maybe we should do a whole show on proportions because uh, there's so many tricks to the trade on proportions and what to do if you have small shoulders or what to do if you have, um, it, it, you know, those beautiful round hips and what to do about all that stuff. It's all about proportion. And I think Chico's nailed it on this tunic because of where it lands on me. Uh, and again, this is a size zero. I did try a one on because I thought I wanted it to be longer and it was just too big. It just uh, overwhelmed me. Um, so I think this is the perfect size for me. And I love a little sloppy cuff. So if you want to dress it up a little bit, it does come down to a three quarter length. And remember, always make sure you put, you roll up your sleeves. Um, it is a big slim secret. It differentiates where your hip stops and your arm starts. If I had fabric all the way down here, 
I would look like I was just one big block of fabric. So always roll up your sleeves. And again, this shirt comes automatically with a Slim Secret attached because it's three quarter, which I love, especially for the summertime. But um, given that I'm kind of cash today and with jeans, I like to do a little sloppy cuff. That's my, this is my signature look, ladies, except now I'm wearing a tunic and it's not tied. So um, I want you to go out and try it because I think you'll love it as much as I can. And again, the back detail just is awesome. Okay. Linda. Linda and Cheryl are saying, what a great idea. We should do a segment on proportion. Okay, Linda and Cheryl, I don't know where, do they say where they're from? Nope. Okay, Linda and Cheryl, you're saying we should do a segment on proportions. So I will get working on that. Um, we're going to be doing three a month, so we got plenty of time and um, plenty of summer and plenty of proportions to talk about. So let me start putting uh, enough together for a show. And what I'll do is I'll talk about all the things like shoulders, hips, arms, um, hat sizes, everything I could possibly imagine on a woman's body that includes proportions and what type of clothing choices you should make for your body type. Because quite frankly, um, everything today, I tried to choose things that would fit about any body type and I tried to give you alternatives. If you don't like the white legging, don't force it, um, go with the black legging. And if you don't like that, go with the traveler's no tummy pant. I'm trying to give every woman of every size, every age, every Chico's woman out there alternatives to make her look and feel fabulous. And give this her closet confidential. This is her place. This is where she goes. This is where she has fun. And these are gonna be her special outfits that are her go-to girls, just like your best friend. And um, you're always gonna look comfortable and feel fabulous. Okay, last one. Last question. Many, many women out here many. are talking about your uh, Chico's hat that's older. Yes, that you have on. yes. They wanna know about any new hats in stores. I did confirm the hat that we worked on yes. is in store only right now, but will be online soon. Okay, we have, an in, we have a hat in store online only, yeah, right? Oh, it's in store only right now. So it's cute. You should go to it. Uh, it's got a great brim size. Uh, it's not white. It's a little bit more of a neutral, so it'll go with just about everything. Um, I'm, you know, I'm a victim to my old habits, so I stick with my white hat. But it's absolutely spectacular. We also have this one. We have this one in right now. Yep. And again, I love this because of the combo. Um, you could tie a scarf on the on the bag. This, this combination, this should be one of your favorite combos that you go to because you can take this bag and add this hat and go with any of the outfits that we had and make a beautiful combination. Uh, and it makes a beautiful outfit and it's a finisher. These are finishers. The stack attack, the neck mess, the hat, the bag, the shoes. Those are all finishers for the outfits that I picked out today that make you unique and special. Okay. Oh, there are your your. I better get to work. So, are we ready to are we ready to close down today? I've got to go because I've got to get to work because apparently we're getting lots of feedback on a show based strictly on proportions. So, what I'll plan to do is talk about all those body types, what to do to overcome any uh, concerns that you have about those body types, how to buy clothes and wear clothes to make you proportionately the most amazing woman alive. And um, I'll pick out outfits that are specific to those proportions. Does that sound good to everybody? Kristen, are you good with that? Yeah. Okay, good, she's all in. Okay, um, ladies, as always, thank you. I love your ideas, I love your questions, I love you. Um, I hope you go run to your Chico store, make sure you've got these starter kits in your closet so that when you're ready to go, you've got that outfit that you can go to and feel beautiful and fabulous in. Store teams are ready for you. They will start, I know them, they're watching. They'll start pulling all these outfits as we speak. They'll have them all ready for you. Uh, my Waterside store, they were pulling it and they were gonna put it on the on the, um, uh, the fitting room doors already today. So when customers came in, they were all ready to rock and roll and they had all the sizes on a rolling rack. And I love that. Um, and um, my Chico's women. Um, as always, you feel you feed my soul, and um, 
at this stage in my life, that's what I'm looking for, things that just feed my soul, and you do that for me. And it is such an honor uh, to be here with you every week. I look forward to it more than you can possibly imagine, and um, it's just an honor to be here with you today. And remember, confidence. It's the single most beautiful thing a woman can wear every day. See you shopping at Chico's. Bye.